your life and journey you know resonates with so much or so many people including me and a couple of experiences that you've shared thus far i can relate with it, with it you know i have also had uh maybe i'm not supposed to use myself of standing in front of an icon you know with what you've shared with your mother i've also had my own past marriage of abuse you know or and i i i, I took many lessons from it you know and i feel that the society that we live in today tends to you know push the women under the carpet when such things happen yes. you know but how and when do we draw the line between the love of our spouse mm -hmm. and the life of our children mm -hmm. and uh, will i say the endurance of our family setting and our sanity because i feel mm -hmm. that that's what women are suffering from today yes. i went through i i went through it and it was difficult for me because i really didn't want my marriage to end mm -hmm. but i couldn't take any more um, it would have killed me, I, I always say, and that is the truth. And it was not good for the children to be in that kind of environment where the mother is depressed, the mother is carrying the weight of the whole family. I raised my children from kindergarten to master's degree. My husband did not pay school fees for one day, didn't buy clothes, didn't pay for holidays, didn't give me housekeeping money. Hard to believe, yeah? He was a nice and kind and generous man. He, he was generous. Yeah, he was also generous. Occasionally, he would know he would do something for you. That was a wow. And but basically, there was control. Where if you didn't do things the way he wanted, well, I'm not going to help you, and I'm not going to give you money. And I would like to say this to Nigerians: any man who has children, has a family and decides not to take care of them, you will have to answer to God. That's mm. mean, irresponsible, wicked, even to your own children. Forget about the wife. You can be, forget about the wife, the children. And I decided to write about it because women, we keep quiet for too long. Yes. We take so much and you're dying. And once I opened up, I felt this relief that a lot of women who read it were saying, thank you, thank you for talking about this. Mm -hmm. We know now that we ought to free ourselves. I'm not for divorce, but I think if you're going to divorce, it should be done peacefully. Mm -hmm. It should be done in such a way that you go your separate ways and you can remain friends. And if there are children, in, if there are children involved, mm -hmm. we have a proverb in Igbo which says, Uzo ejimwa adeji. A road where where there are children, that road never closes. Mm. Because those children are a testimony of the fact that two people came together mm. in love. And God blessed you with these people for you to act as custodians for. So for you to now, uh, your responsibility is to take care of them. And you don't do it. And some men even get to the point where they even refuse to relate with their children mm. so that they can punish the mother. The mother. You use the children and as a baby. Listen, you will pay. You not only pay here on earth, you pay in heaven. But women, love yourselves. Mm. Respect yourself mm. and respect one another. Mm. Okay? Fantastic. Respect everyone you meet and demand that that respect be given to you. Don't beg for it. Don't, don't. Just demand it. It's your right. All right. Mutual respect right there. Very sense. Very sense.